world. Welcome back to Summary 23 Let's Play. This is Magic Duels on Xbox One. <clears throat> I, uh, welcome back. We are going to get back in the story mode where we left off. For completing this skill quest, you've earned some coins. After you finish Gideon's campaign, you can spend coins in the store to purchase booster packs containing new cards for your collection. Great. All right, so let's do the second one. Uh-oh, what's going on with Gideon here? Still standing for justice even while incarcerated. You fight against the bullying and corruption around you. Hiromancy? Hiromancy? Hi hi I don't know what that is. That's oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay. Hey, more training drones. A turn in magic is broken into several phases. Main At the start of your turn, you'll end. untap all your tapped cards and draw a card. There are two main phases, one before combat and one after. Most spells can be cast only during one of your main phases. If a card in your hand is glowing, it means you can cast that spell or play that land. So there's actually a couple more phases um, if you don't play magic regularly. They're also, uh, they are upkeep Untap, upkeep, and draw. So there's three, three more right there at the beginning. You've already seen the combat phase when creatures attack and block. All damage dealt to creatures heals at the end of the turn. After that, the next turn begins. This skill quest starts in your first main phase. A dark slick drake stands between your elvish warrior and victory. Find a way to attack and win this turn. Let's see, so I have a gate. Um, one summon. Okay, that's pretty simple actually. Um, so I need to play in blue mana. I need to unsummon that. And then attack. Good job! Casting the right spell at the right time can be the difference between defeat and victory. a full game, huh? I'm sure it's not actually a full game, but let's see what we got here. 2-2. Two, 3-1. Two, okay. Him and firm attack, and he's gonna take one damage. One, two. One, two, yeah, no, yeah. Flying and vigilance, good. He's right, playing red, white. What did he pull out? Traveling philosopher. Okay, that's a 2-2. Two, two. 
with no text. Play our creature on the second phase. Against the computer, I don't know that this these types of moves matter. But um I do them out of habit from playing with the opponents. I guess there's scenarios where the computer might utilize mana. Yeah, we'll play a flyer. get plus one plus one until the end of turn. That's two. That's two. Um, so two. Why can't I select the other one? Just want to see what his stats are. I think it's three one. So let's do the math here. So if it's 3-1 or is it 2-1 and 2-1. So it'd either be 6 damage or 7 damage. How does it change the clock? As opposed to 4 damage or 5 damage. That's 3 turns. I think we'll just skip attack. Something big out. Glory Seeker, now that's pretty, pretty lame, actually. So unless he gets two creatures out, we've got him in this game. This turn. Or kills off multiple creatures. Well, looks like we got him anyways.
deck upgraded. Four years under the guidance of Texas. Something special about you, he suspects his own mentor. You may be a planeswalker. are attacking we're just fighting a play. you can have um, multiple creatures turn. grouped together to block a single attacking creature this is a good way to gang up on a larger threat your opponent chooses how the attacking creature deals damage to your blockers I've never actually seen that work in this version of the game before usually an attacking creature will deal all its damage to the creature that blocked it but a creature with trample can deal its excess damage to the defending player Yep. You'll see trample and group blocking in action in this skill quest. To complete it, block the incoming attack and win on your next turn. All right, so we got two three threes. To block an incoming attack, first use the left stick to highlight one of your creatures and press the A button. Then highlight the attacking creature you want to block and press the A button again. Once you've selected each creature you want to block with, press the Y button to confirm your block. Great job. Woot. Normally, all attacking and blocking creatures deal combat damage at the same time. However, a creature with first strike deals its combat damage first before creatures without first strike. This means a creature with first strike can often destroy an enemy creature before that creature gets the chance to hit back. In this skill quest, withstand your opponent's assault and attack on your turn to seal your victory. I can't, okay, there we go. So it's a 5-3, Juggernaut attacks each turn available. Juggernaut can be bought by walls, okay. And I've got a 2-3, and I've got... All right, so I'm going to block. A timer oh, counts down whenever it's your turn to act. If you so now my guy first strike goes, kills the juggernaut, and now I swing back to win. 
Well done. First strike is advantageous on both offense Okay, back to this, huh? Let's see what I drew here. What is that? Great heart. Sky spear spear sky spear cavalry. It's a double strike. So it actually does twice as much damage. Two hits. The first one acts like it is a first strike hit. The second one is normal. Uh, that's pretty awesome. I love double strike. Elite Vanguard. That's 2-1. Alright. Let's get this going. I assume the Murphy deck is going to be pretty heavy on flyers. so far. Cyclops. Just the main gate is now a
Enchantments are powerful cards that stay on the battlefield after you cast them. They have a wide range of effects. Some boost your creatures, while others make things more difficult for your opponent. Like most spells, you cast enchantment spells during your main phase. Right. In this skill quest, use the enchantment in your hand to win the game this turn. That was. Now I just attack with everything. He blocks and one gets three for three. Double blocked one. Well, that stupid. Great job! Enchantments are powerful because their effects last as long as they're on the. Enchantments tend to be bad in competitive play. Auras are a special type of enchantment, most attached to a single creature and affect only that creature. The enchant ability will tell you what that aura attaches to. You can target any creature with most auras. Read each one to see how it affects the enchanted creature. If it has a negative effect, you can choose to attach it to one of your opponent's creatures. If the enchanted creature leaves the battlefield, the aura is put into your graveyard. To complete this skill quest, find a way to win this turn. You'll need to use both positive and negative auras to get the job done. All right, so this enchantment, enchant creature, gets plus one plus one for each plane you control and has flying. All right. And pacifism is pretty simple. So, okay, this is actually really easy. So there, and then we enchant our guy. I've seen another enchantment similar to pacifism, but they can actually still block with it. This particular case, pacif pacifism makes them so they can't block with a flying creature. And therefore we win. Well done. One popular strategy is to use auras to make a massive threat to dominate the battlefield. Yep. And then set your own self up for a four for one. Some cards put plus one plus one counters on creatures. A plus one plus one counter increases the creature's power and toughness by one. These counters stay on the creature as long as the creature is on the battlefield. If the creature leaves the battlefield, the counters disappear. In this skill quest, your opponent is about to create a massive army and obliterate you. Win this turn before that happens. All right. So I got those guys. Supply enters. Put one one on a target creature. Just one one. I thought I thought supply line cranes did more. But that's all I need, so... Alright. And... Why aren't you letting me... Your two Glory Seekers have a total power of four, which is not enough to defeat your opponent what? this turn. Some cards put plus one, plus one yeah, count in this, this skill quest. Your opponent is about to create a map... So why did it not let me actually do it?
green ice. Some decks like are based on casting a creature one. and piling on plus. Based on the Pro Tour from last weekend, uh, Red was the dominant. So I find it interesting that these little white guys kind of feel powerful. One drop, two one, or two ones are pretty good.
I have to buy Erebus here? Raise your speed and it radiates the light to the sun. The tide below bellows furiously. Straight game. something this time. No. So I have to assume that means that you're about to kill somebody. An instant. But at this point I've got death on the board. So if you don't play something, it's game over. Okay. I could have played Banisher Priest just for clock speed up. It was actually worth that risk, but play permanent. If I don't lose this one life, I'll take one life loss. Gideon is done.
the animation's fairly bad. Uh oh, look who it is. It's not horrible to take it the wrong way, but. Packs. Reach trick over the death of your comrades. Please walk your spark ignite, sending you to sending you to Bant. Discover around the chivalry and you are inspired to walk the path. Fine. Take the name Gideon Gerard. Alright. supposed to get booster packs. Starter box for free. Alright. sell us fake cards just can't do it guys uh, I just want to filter the stuff I've got I don't want to see all the other stuff Booster button takes you to the store where you can buy more boosters for a chance to win. It's like this. Gilead's Pilgrim. I guess it would make sense for someone who's playing all white weenie, but I have no real interest in playing white weenie. Okay, good. Also, I have not seen a rare yet. Common and uncommon. Two other creature cards from here. Okay, interesting. Oh, please let my other max 
summons for target creature from the graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Okay. Must be back in the set, or at least in this specific set. Otherwise, that's a fairly useless card. Now it could be multicolor variety. Wyvern, Flash, Flying, other creature. Wow, nice. Double Strike. Okay. Artifact. Artifact. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't consider it could be land. All right, do we have gates? Oh, Guild Gates are back. Okay. Glacial Fortress. Ground Catacomb, Dragon Skull Summit. So I got four rare lands there. That's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I got a full cycle of those lands. All right, filter. They're all filters. that one episode if you like it make sure you leave a comment or, or hit the like button I appreciate those things a lot um, and we'll see you in the next episode <laughs>